My passion for this place started two years ago. We came down here, really took a peek around and rode, but uh, man, we just knew that there was so much left and we knew we had to come back. These mountains go forever and ever, and as we're going up, the mountains are going up. I feel like we're pretty much on the other side of the planet, which is a great feeling. You gotta have a tight crew to be out here. The place will chew you up and spit you out. We've got a really big, uh, big trip, long ride. We've got 10 days to do it. About to drop into the little community of Yana Mile. 14,000 plus feet up in the Andes. See where the kids are up to. Hola. Buenos dias. Hola. We've been to Miana Maya before. It was one of the highlights of my trip the last time, and we knew like that wasn't one that we were gonna miss. And the kids all remembered us. They just remember chanting, Chris, Chris, Chris. We rolled in and everybody was Chris. I think they have a good life there. It's a totally different life than I would ever expect to be in, but uh, they're all happy. And they're all totally at peace and they're all uh, being educated and it's really kind of neat. Adios, niños. You ready? Here we go, drop. Oh, I'm getting loose already. It's rippable. <laughs> oh, that was so scary. That was a tight one. This is dope, Chris. Taking me out, buddy. One's pretty, one's pretty. Got you, bro. Got you. <laughs> yeah. The earth is not this gnarly in many places. We're flying down the road, and these cars come whipping around the corner, and it can be kind of crazy. It's hard to take in. Oh, fuck. Everyone's pretty tense today. I mean, the boys are arguing a lot. Like, I feel like they're just arguing about every single little thing. Careful, the blind corner! CBD is a guy who's like dog off the chains and he's running hard and he's thinking later. I, I get it. Oh, God! Not good! Are you really fucking serious? What? You are not expecting the corner. I'm in control, dog. I'm fucking gonna let you die today. You I'm not gonna don't die. Dive into blind corners when fucking one way. Rich, out. I can see. You far. cannot see around Wait. a fucking blind corner. You got play to worry about. I stay outside. Right. Our Grant. safety is the Take only easy. fucking issue we have. <laughs> That's definitely not the only issue we have. We got a lot of issues. <laughs> Being the only girl in the group, I'm trying to just hang back and let them do their thing and stay out of their way. And I think it's an awesome adventure. I think they always unfold and. Everyone has an idea of how it should go and how it's gonna go, but we're worlds away from where we come from. The normal way that life works, those rules don't apply here. So the sooner people realize that, the better. Oh God, the drama in the bick, right? CBD enrich our fire and ice. Once we're done hiking and mashing our way through these valleys and towns and everything else and we get out to these ruins and it's a spot where you, where you have to feel happy. It's a lost world up there and we're rediscovering it all on our bikes. Over here, sacred Inca ruins, getting out in the world and exploring. To me, this is what riding bikes is all about. I'm in the middle of an Incan ruin in Peru with all of my friends in the absolute middle of nowhere. 
so freaking awesome. The Incas really loved and respected the mountain. Amazing spot, amazing view. One nano strawberry infused with Incan powers. That's enough energy for me to get me to the mountaintop. It's just really beautiful to be here and experience this amazingness uh, with my friends and I. Once we make it out to these ruins, all the disagreements really kind of disappear. And all right, oh, buddy. Come on. <laughs> Let's have some fun this trip, okay? <laughs> The morale of the group comes right back up, and it's really all about exploring and finding gems on your bike. Riding here makes me realize that a lot of people make life a lot more complicated than it needs to be. This is the best part of the day when we kind of drop our packs and we film some lines, because you get, really get to kind of like open up to uh, what the trail can offer you. It's the best. So much incredible stuff everywhere. Inca single track. Cup is so good. That's a sick one. Oh man, I almost going down. Hey yeah, girl, nice and light. Yeah! Yeah! Come on, Rex, bomb those Inca steps. Let it happen, Captain. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Stacking. The sun is going down in Peru town, let me tell you. We got like 5,000 more feet of vert to drop in town. So we got while we get. One more hurrah in Peru. Okay, we're at the start of the Inca Mega D8 right now. Basically, we're unleashing 100 riders at 14,000 feet to descend all the way down to the city. And it's gonna be psycho. down alive is like a brother. Getting lost out in Peru on a trail. And it's just one big journey. And mountain biking has brought me here. And brings us all together. I don't leave Peru wondering if I'm going to come back. I just wonder when I'm going to come back. Look at this spot. This is a cool little zone. Here's where your flat screen goes, right here. Flat screen, I do the surround sound and those other little holes. You know, a little bit of paint brighten this place up a little bit. Maybe a roof, maybe. It's kind of cool with that one. I really like the high ceiling feature.